China's chip industry is poised to dominate the global market, and I'll show you how SMIC, Yangtze Memory and Intel are leading the charge. It is difficult to overestimate the importance of semiconductor fabrication in the global IT scene. Without cutting-edge processors, our cell phones would be little more than fancy calculators, PCs would be clumsy typewriters, and automobiles would be far less intelligent. The list goes on. Today, prominent businesses like SMIC, Yangtze Memory and Intel are pushing innovation in this field, and China is swiftly emerging as a major power to reckon with. The country's chip sector has grown over the last decade, and it is no secret that China wishes to control this market. With the government's support and large expenditures in R&D, Chinese enterprises are making significant advances in technology and industrial capacities. This change is crucial not only for China, but for the whole global IT economy. As we speak, the global chip business is experiencing a seismic change, with new companies rising and incumbent firms trying to preserve their dominance. It's an exciting time, and we're going to get right into the core of this shift. From ESMIC to Yangtze Memory to Intel's collaboration with Chinese enterprises, we'll look at it all. The expansion of China's semiconductor sector is more than just rivalry. It is about the future of technology, so buckle up and prepare to explore the intriguing world of semiconductors. The Chinese chip industry has encountered various hurdles in its pursuit of self-sufficiency. For years, the country has depended largely on foreign technology, leaving it exposed to trade barriers and export controls. Despite this, China has worked relentlessly to establish its own local chip sector. However, it has been an uphill struggle. One significant challenge has been a lack of modern manufacturing capabilities. Chinese businesses have failed to create high-end semiconductors, leaving them reliant on foreign corporations such as Intel and Taiwan's TSMC. This has hampered China's capacity to establish its own digital ecosystem, while also making it harder for Chinese businesses to compete with their global counterparts. Another key difficulty has been a lack of competent labour. Developing cutting-edge chips demands a team with significant understanding in subjects such as materials, science, physics and electrical engineering. China has been attempting to expand this talent pool, but the process is time-consuming. The trade war with the United States has had a substantial impact on China's semiconductor sector. The embargo on US corporations exporting semiconductors and other technologies to Chinese businesses has compelled China to become increasingly self-sufficient. While this has been difficult in the near term, it has hastened China's progress towards self-sufficiency. Despite these limitations, China has achieved impressive progress in recent years. Do you appreciate the video? If so, please subscribe, like, and share our videos to get more updated and entertaining stuff. Let us proceed. The government has made significant investments in R&D. Companies such as ESMIC and Yangtze Memory have worked relentlessly to build their own chip manufacturing capabilities. China's chip sector has also benefited from the government's Made in China 2025 project, which seeks to transform China into a high-tech manufacturing powerhouse. The project has offered money and support to firms developing sophisticated technologies such as AI, robots and semiconductors. MIC in particular has made considerable progress in recent years and its collaboration with businesses such as Qualcomm has enabled it to create more advanced chip-making skills. Yangtze Memory, on the other hand, has been working on creating its own NAND flash memory technology. This is crucial since NAND Flash is utilised in a wide range of applications, including smartphones and data centres. China's reliance on foreign suppliers has left it vulnerable to supply chain disruptions. The Chinese government has also provided money and assistance for semiconductor startups, resulting in a thriving ecosystem of businesses developing anything from AI processors to 5G modems. This ecosystem is crucial, 
because it enables firms to specialise and focus on certain aspects of the semiconductor industry, hence driving innovation and competitiveness. China's semiconductor sector has also benefited from the country's vast domestic market. With over a billion smartphone users and a fast expanding data center sector, Chinese businesses have a large captive audience for their chips. This has enabled them to grow quickly and invest in R&D, which is crucial for generating innovation. The COVID-19 epidemic has also boosted business, hastening the transition to distant labor and online education. This has increased demand for cloud computing, AI and other technologies based on sophisticated semiconductors, creating a big potential for Chinese enterprises. As Chinese businesses expand their chip manufacturing skills, they become more competitive in terms of pricing. This is significant because it enables Chinese businesses to compete with global competitors on pricing, which is an important aspect in the semiconductor sector. Despite the hurdles, China's semiconductor sector is rapidly expanding, and it is evident that the country is determined to become a key participant in this field. The issue is, what does this signify for the global semiconductor industry? How will businesses such as Intel respond to this new competition? The current collaboration between Intel and Chinese enterprises represents a significant advancement in this field. The cooperation will enable Chinese firms to leverage Intel's chip-making technologies, allowing them to create more sophisticated semiconductors. This is a significant development since it gives Chinese enterprises access to cutting-edge technology that they would not have had otherwise. The cooperation is particularly noteworthy since it demonstrates Intel's willingness to collaborate with Chinese enterprises to grow the global semiconductor industry. This is a departure from the past, when Intel and other global firms were more concerned with protecting their intellectual property and maintaining market supremacy. The alliance will also have a substantial impact on the worldwide semiconductor sector. As Chinese businesses produce more powerful chips, they will be able to compete more effectively with global competitors, lowering prices and accelerating innovation. This will benefit consumers, but it will also provide new problems for businesses that are trying to keep up with the rate of change. As the global semiconductor industry evolves, it is apparent that China will play an important role in determining its destiny. The country's drive towards self-sufficiency, combined with its massive domestic market and government support, make it an unstoppable force in this space. The country's desire for self-sufficiency, paired with its sizeable domestic market and official support, make it an unstoppable force in this field. To summarize, China's semiconductor business is flourishing, with SMIC, Yangtze Memory and Intel leading the way. We've looked at everything from Chinese companies' issues to Intel's latest relationship with Chinese enterprises. China's ascent has implications not only for the country, but also for the whole global IT sector. It's apparent that China is shaping the future of technology. The growth of China's semiconductor sector is a fascinating narrative that continues to unfold. As we look ahead, it is apparent that China will play a significant role in defining the global technology scene. The issue is, what are your thoughts on China's semiconductor sector? And how do you believe it will affect the global IT ecosystem? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on technological trends. Subscribe to The Global Story and join our thriving community of forward thinkers, change makers and revolutionaries.